The healthcare journey for most people who have used our healthcare system, it is not a simple process. It is very complex. It would behoove us as a country and a community and as a as healthcare providers to make that healthcare journey simpler, easier to understand, and help guide people so that they have the best care possible. The 21st Century Cures Act requires that information be shared with patients in real time so they can make better decisions about their care. One of the most important things that I think is in that act is the requirement for health plans and health delivery systems to exchange data in a private and secure way on behalf of patients. And more importantly, for patients to be able to access all their own information in the same way. Not to have to pay for it to get transferred from one place to another, not to have to hunt it down, and make sure that a patient's data is not lost or duplicated. The 21st Century Cures Act effectively applies to everybody in the healthcare system. That's 6,000 hospitals, it's hundreds of thousands of clinics, it's clinicians, it's pharmacies, it's everybody is involved in this. This is a national effort to rapidly rapidly free up the data that belongs to patients, it's really owned by patients, and make sure that they can have access to their own information and take it where they need to to get the best care that they can. Microsoft has been thinking a lot about how to help healthcare organizations with the 21st Century Cures Act. And one of the things that's incredibly important is actually thinking about your patient experience, including the security of the patient data. You're balancing interoperability and the ability for a patient to go to any healthcare provider and have their records available to them, but you also have to think about the security of that data. And then you need to think about how the organization is going to be compliant. What the docs are concerned about is getting the right care to the patient and getting the right information flow so they have the information they need to take care of the patients. And they want it yesterday. You really have to move fairly quickly because if patient information falls through the cracks, then health could be at risk. We have to adapt to a different environment. The healthcare system has to adapt to a different environment where the patient is really not just in theory, but in fact, an integral part of the decision making. The secure exchange of patient data is one of the big wins of the act because you can actually provide a exchange of patient data that allows patients to be very transitory. So if I am, you know, in my home in Seattle and I get ill in New York City, I don't have to worry about manually getting my patient data from one location to the other. The act will actually allow for that interoperability and we can do that in a very secure manner by granting those facilities only the access to the data they need to provide my patient care in real time. If you're gonna transform healthcare, you have to be able to ensure that the money and the way you're paying for things match up with the goals that you want. So for example, in the case of interoperability in the Cures Act, if people aren't complying with that law, you have a pretty easy lever, which is if you're not gonna comply with the law, we're not gonna pay you. The penalties in mishandling data, in breaching a patient's privacy, is large. As a healthcare executive, your job one is to protect your institution, and part of that is protecting your patients and their safety. In order to ensure that, you have to make sure you're following the law. Compliance is going to be incredibly important under the 21st Century Cures Act. Every healthcare system and every health insurance plan is going to have to prove that it moved the right data to the right person at the right time. For CMS to have the tools and the ability to see if an, a health system or health plan is complying with the Cures Act, they're going to need something concrete. They can't just go in and do a site visit and say, hey, how are you doing on interoperability? Within the Microsoft 365 estate, we have a lot of features to make sure that the data access control is correct and only the healthcare providers that need the data will have access to the data. It starts actually with multi-factor or strong authentication, making sure the right person is logging in. It goes on to conditional access because conditional access will inform us about what their access actually should be. And then we actually have data controls that are built in to make certain we can control who can see the data, when they can see the data, and actually how they can see the data too. And finally, 
certainly we can audit and log that data and see who has seen it, when they saw it, and we can report out on that. And we can do that very seamlessly. It's all fully integrated within Microsoft 365. The risk of a data breach or a data attack on systems continues to increase. Healthcare data is really important, and it's really going to get bad actors uh, trying to go after that data. Phishing for medical data is a very real threat. As more and more healthcare information gets moved, there's more and more opportunity for thieves to steal the data. That can include confidential patient data, like their name, their social security number, their birth date, their medical record number. We will see an increase in phishing attacks. We have a lot of protections that Microsoft can put in place with our Microsoft 365 solutions. With the Cures Act and the need to be able to share more information or the requirement to share more information, there's paperwork, there's legal agreements, there's going to be heightened scrutiny to be able to say, are you really the right party to get this information? We're going to have to up our game in terms of how we structure our systems, how do we make sure that the party we're sending data to is really the party we should be sending data to. You should start planning immediately because it's going to require a lot of strategic thinking in order to bring this data to the patients and the physicians. This is a new evolution in healthcare. We will make better decisions and deliver better care when we use data in a more sophisticated way. The cost or the plan of, of having data security is the cost of doing business. You have to have it. What this is all about is giving power to the patients, where it belongs, allowing patients to be in charge of their care. Microsoft is excited to work with healthcare organizations as they go along this journey. We know that our Microsoft 365 suite of tools will provide a simple and seamless journey for our customers. We want our customers to actually be able to focus on what they do well, which is providing exceptional patient care, and we will focus on the journey with them to give them the tools that they need to be successful.